hello friends welcome back to another video so today's video is again a continuation on our extension product reviews so today's video we have pond pretties builder gel so i'm going to show you how this product works and i'm going to sculpt a nail using these products so before i start with the video if you are new here please consider subscribing to my channel i post videos on nail art nail extension nail product review and anything and everything related to nails so please consider subscribing so now let's begin with the video at first let's have a look at the products we have today so as you can see on the screen I have two builder gel bottles and apart from the builder gel I also have three cat eye magnetic polishes from born pretty so I will be starting with the builder gel but uh, after that we will also see the polishes so first I am opening the bottle and I'm going to show you how it looks and how it works So when I picked up the bottle, the bottle is really lightweighted so I think it's made out of plastic and on top of it, uh, it has all the details related to the product, ingredients, expiry etc etc and it's completely sealed so there is no way that the product can spill out and one color that I have is a nude pink and the second color is a pink shade. So we are going to uh, sculpt nails using the nude pink one that's what I <laughs> like the most so I'll be starting with that but don't worry the pink one also I'll be posting a clip of the nails that I sculpted using the pink one so don't worry you will be seeing both the colors uh, so now I'm opening the bottle I just removed that plastic wrapping around the bottle and now I'm going to open it and as usual um, like any other Bond Beauty products there is a seal uh, on top of the bottle when you open it you have to cut it and open it so now let's do that Whenever I cut open a seal of a gel bottle, I do not remove the entire seal because we are going to keep it for a long time. So I don't want it to completely expose the gel, so I only cut out half of it. Now I'm going to just pick up a bead and see the consistency. So I picked up a medium sized bead and as you can see, the gel is like a little above than the medium in terms of consistency. It's not too runny. So I think this will be absolutely perfect for a beginner to start with so um, now let's just quickly do a swatching so I'm using a swatch stick to just to see the color and uh, you know the application and everything just to see how it uh, works and how the final look of this color is gonna be like so that's what I'm doing I'm quickly quickly swatching and then I'll show you how it looks So that's how the final color looks like it's a beautiful color and it's time for us to see the second one the pink one so as the name says it's a pink builder gel and i somehow love the pink color uh, you know extension products whether it's builder gel or it's uh, acrylic powder i have like a special love for pink ones so this is a side by side comparison so as you can see the colors are like totally different and now i'm swatching the pink color quickly so that we can see how it looks once you apply it so obviously in the bottle it will be like more opaque but when we apply that's when we are going to see the actual color so again uh, pink is also really beautiful so i'll be showing you both uh, nails uh, with these two products here is a quick side by side comparison of the swatches so if you see I did not uh, file it so it's just pure application pure product so they both look stunning so now it's time for us to put it for test so I have my uh, nails ready and it's all prepped and I just removed the extensions I had so now they are ready to go I'm going to start with a dehydrator and then primer and then I'll be uh, applying the foams and then I'll start sculpting the nails as you can see on the screen I have my foams on and our first step is to apply a thin layer of base coat and cure it for 30 seconds and after that you can start building the free edge and then you can start building the uh, apex area and the cuticle area. 
After curing the base gel for 30 seconds, I'm going to start with the builder gel application. So for that, I have picked up a medium sized uh, bead and I'm starting from the free edge side of my natural nail. So I'm connecting the gel from one side to the other side and then I will be eventually building up the length and shape of the nails. So I am planning to do a long almond nails and uh, for that I'll be using this this one same bead only i'll be extending this bead to completely create the length that i wanted and once i'm done with the length and shape of the nail then i'll be curing it under the uv led lamp for 30 seconds and then i'll come back and do the rest of the nails so keep on watching After securing the free edge area, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the leftover gel from the brush and I'm going to grease the natural plate using that. So when you do this, do not cure it, just apply a very thin layer and this is basically to let the cuticle bead move around so that we can go as close as to the cuticle area without flooding the cuticle. So I'm doing that greasing part and then I'll be picking up a uh, big enough bead to cover over the entire nail surface so I picked up a, a big size bead and I placed it right a little uh, far from the cuticle area then I will be extending the gel to the free edge that I have created so here I'm also focusing on the apex area uh, so when you hold the finger so for the recording purpose I I did not point it downwards because that was very uncomfortable but if you keep it uh, downwards then the gel will not flow onto your side walls so that is another tip that you can uh, follow on once the nails are ready you can quickly cure it under the uv led lamp and then that's how the nails that i have sculpted looks like now it's time for us to remove the forms and uh, for that you just pinch the tip of the foam and then you can just easily remove it and your nails will be ready for filing and shaping I also wiped the uh, sticky part from the nail surface and then I did the filing and after filing uh, that's how my nails looks like so filing and shaping is also done so this is how the nails looks like now we are done with the extension and it's time for us to decorate the extensions that we have just sculpted so for that i have three different uh, 90 magnetic cattle gel polishes by bond pretty and as you can see they are all so pretty so this one is a green one then i have a, a purple one and then i have like a golden one as well so there are three these bottles are 7 ml bottles and are retailed at three dollar 99 cents the best part is you can either use it as it is or or you can put it on top of any base color so um, I prefer holographic polishes uh, even magnetic holograph any kind of holographic polishes on top of a black base or a darker ba base like purple or dark green like that so they look much much cooler when you apply on top of a darker color so today here I am directly applying applying this polish onto the uh, extension that we did so that is a nude pink color as you can see on the screen so here it's not going to be like a very vibrant finish it will be a settled one and these polishes they are very uh, uh, you know thick and the application is absolutely smooth and the final finish is just amazing so just watch this So as you can see, um, the beige color on top of the beige color, the magnetic polish is very settled, but it you will still see that iridescent effect, uh, the color shifting. But um, now that we have seen that, I wanted to show you guys how this polishes are going to look like when you are using a darker base so that's why i have these black swatch sticks to do the swatches so that you can clearly see the difference that you get when you have a darker base color so i also have one swatch stick which i painted with green color so that you can see again how the color difference comes in when you are using different kinds of ba background colors okay so uh, uh, all these polishes they have like a good 
thick consistency and uh, application is absolutely amazing there is no trouble in applying these polishes and uh, magnetic effect oh my god that you can already see it's like very prominent effect and uh, overall the builder gel and the magnetic polishes everything is like top notch quality so i'll leave all the links in the description box in case if you guys wanted to purchase something you can also use my code ana10 a n a 10 to get a 10 percentage off so with that i'm going to um summarize today's video i hope you guys enjoy this video if you like it don't forget to like share comment all those good things and i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy bye bye